Sorry, I have been sick, so I have not been able to do any news reports. But since this is only audio, I will be giving you a tutorial today on how to back up on your Macintosh for free and without installing any additional software. This will work on your Mac if you have Mac 10.4 or higher. In this case, you'd want to go into Finder. And then, in Finder, see if the disk that you want to back up onto is available. In this case, I want to back up onto the disk Lassie. I know that I can use it. Then, click up in the corner on the little Apple sign and scroll down until you get to the little pane that says System Preferences. In your System Preferences, click on the button under System that says Time Machine. From here on, it's very easy. All you have to press is select backup disk, select the one you want to be on, or if you have an Apple time capsule that's connected, it will search for it, and a few seconds later, they will show up. Since I don't have any, I'm not going to use this, but if there are any, click on it, and then just press continue as it guides you through the airport utility. In the meantime though, I'm going to use a Lassie hard drive that is connected by a USB and I'm going to press use for backup. As soon as I press that, it will start preparing to make a backup and that's practically it. The next backup will begin in 109 seconds. Backing up, when you see this pane come up right here, under the time machine backups, you will see that it will back up how much out of 121.34. Continue this until it's done. This may take a while because this is only the first backup, but once this is done, it will be nice and simple and easy to do it. You can also know that it is backing up because up in this toolbar, you will see the little clock icon going around and around. I'll be back once it's done backing up. Now, I did not let time machine backups completely back up my disk because I didn't have the time, but still, this is how you would restore from your backup. Say, for example, your computer crashed or you accidentally deleted something that you had backed up. All you have to do is up in the toolbar, you click on the little icon that looks like a clock. Then you just press enter time machine. It will enter the time machine and you will come into something that looks rather like this. You'll see all of the disks that you had uh, plugged in at that very time. And every time you back up, these little spaces in the back here will fill up as well as down on this side which I'm highlighting right now you will see that there's today and all the other times they may back up this is kept for over a year if you still have the, the space now backups are automatically deleted after it runs out of space so be careful that you don't run out of space and repeat the same procedures if you do buy a new hard drive. In the meantime, to restore some things, you, you can go onto your da uh, desktop, click on something like explain, and then if it's been properly backed up, you just press restore down here. And that's basically all I have to say for today. Thank you for watching this episode and we hope to see you again.